Okay, so we're looking at the answer to chess. So from the start of our journey, we brought in the answer to chess. Let's see if anything has developed in our current state. So we've been doing the answer to chess for about two and a half to three years and applying. So let's have a look at this particular game. So playing as black, this is an actual five minute game. So it's one of those short ugh, games, but let's just see if the answer process was utilized in this game. So the knight's coming out, obviously looking to manage, looking to develop, manage these areas here. Always being mindful that when the opponent develops their pieces out as well, they are obviously managing squares as well. So it's really looking at who is winning out in terms of the management of those areas. So they develop their bishop, we develop our bishop, almost copycat type thing. Then they push the pawn, we push the same pawn. Uh, so at this point here, I think the copycatting stopped because we like the position of this bishop. Obviously, usually they go backwards, so it's not a problem. We've developed our bishop, then we can start challenging this center pawn here and get castled. So that's the way that we were looking at in terms of attacking a weak, weak piece, weak on a weak square, with the potential for attacking further weak pieces on weak squares. So they push pawn now looking to protect this pawn. Obviously maybe aware that there is a weak square, but it's not still gonna stop us from attacking this area. Um, this is allowing their queen to come out here and put some checks on the king, etc. That's probably why they did it, rather than supporting the pawn because it's already supported by this pawn here. So we capture the bishop first on, on the weak square. So opens up their king area little bit of a weakness so we can castle king safety now so it's at this point here the knights jumped in but they don't have any other pieces supporting knights just sitting there happy as larry so it looks like we can attack this weak area that we were focusing on but first we're bringing our knight across just to um see whether or not we're going to tantalize the knight but realistically it's to support the pawn coming here attacking this weak square if the knight doesn't take it so the knight doesn't take it, so we push the pawn up. Because earlier we couldn't just push the pawn because we didn't have anything supporting our bishop. Dark square bishop had gone, so we need to bring something to support the attack. If the knight does not take the knight, then obviously we can take the knight back and we're still supporting just in case you're thinking, well, can't they take it after he's taken here? So we look to lock down. Uh, from this particular position because what I didn't want to do was invite the knight into the game or the queen into the game So locking down at this initial stage felt okay. Obviously, we're aware head of the snake can be attacked So with this poor move here, obviously we're looking at attacking our bishop So it's not too much to worry about so we can bring our knight in now looking to manage key squares around their king area they attack our um, bishop, so we can take his knight off the board now because the continuation is going to enhance our position around the edges of the center. And the knight takes, and then we can push onto the knight. We're not bothered about this bishop anymore because we're looking to improve our position on the board. So it's taking at the right moment, at the appropriate moment. Uh, so we capture their knight, and then they capture. So now this opens up space around their king for mate threats. So as we said, making space around the center. We like to work around the center. As you're taught, you know, got to control the center. That's what most people will do. Uh, so that's uh, nothing wrong with that at all. But if you can focus a little shift and change in mindset, more times than not, you can get an advantage working around the edges of the center the opponents aren't really expecting that so the rook comes down defending so it's doing something that it doesn't really want to do so now we can capture the pawn now we've basically got loads of potential pressure coming towards this pawn 
and towards the king area at some given stage so now the opponent's having to do stuff it doesn't want to do so you can capture queen could take the pawn here um, but uh, it's probably more beneficial taking this pawn because it then opens up the space for a checkmate basically so go here in fact let's have a look at that because we captured there let's go here and it doesn't drop too much but it's dropping further than it would do i mean does the queen come there or do they go here i suppose it's not going to go there because the rook will just take and he's got a check on him so either way it's still a bit ugly for them but i prefer this way because obviously there's a mate in one in a sense because the rook takes and then the queen takes with the checkmate so the answer process worked quite nicely there in terms of putting pressure towards the king or the king area attacking weak pieces weak squares and taking advantage of the openings around the center of the board rather than focusing on through the center of the board so that's the answer to chess and that's the continuation that we've been developing and building um, over the last few years